Hi children, I hope you're all well. So we're going to do some handwriting today. Um, and we've learned all of our one of robot letters now. Um, and we've got a new group of letters that we're going to move on to, but we're going to that after half term. So I thought we would take this opportunity now because we've learned we've nearly done all of our letters in handwriting. We've only got a few more to do in our next group. But I thought we'd take today just to go over some of those ones that I know we can find a little bit trickier um when we're doing them so um we've got five that we're going to do today we're going to do each one twice you can do them more if you want to remember when you're writing you need to have lined paper or um, lines on your board and you can write along with me or you can practice um after you've watched the whole video so the first sound that we're going to do the first letter we're going to do is s or s okay so um, i know this one that we find really tricky so that's why i've started with it so we're going to start on the line, we're going to whoosh up and curl. Then we're going to go back, just get that you can see that, we're going to go back, and then we're going to bump out, bump in, and then we're going to do a little kick at the bottom. And again, we're going to whoosh up and curl, stop, then we're going to go back, curl out curl in and kick out at the bottom when you kick out at the bottom children it's not another curl can you see that's like a curl there isn't it it's that it's a kick okay like that okay, some of us sometimes when we do the the kick at the bottom we'll sort of do another curl so our ass end up looking like that okay so it's just a kick Right, so can you try and do two of those for me, please? Pause the video if you need some more time. The next letter that we're going to do is F. So again, quite similar, but we go down a little bit lower. So we're going to start on the line. And we're going to whoosh up and curl. Then we're going to stop. We're going to go back round. And this time we're going to go down, 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 down. We're going to go down under the line and then we're going to flick up like that and then we do a line through the belly. And again, we're going to whoosh up, stop, back round, down, 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 curl up, line through the belly. So can you do two of those, please? Pause the video if you need some more time. Okay, well done. Now we're going to move on to doing B and D because I know that we get these mixed up and that's really, really normal. Lots of boys and girls do tend to get their B and their D mixed up. But it's just the more you practice, the better we'll get at it. Okay, so we're going to start by doing B. And the way that we form the letters, the way that we start them, actually helps us to get them the right way around. So for B, we're going to start on the line and we're going to whoosh up. We're, going to go, we're not whooshing. We're not curl, whooshing and curling, we're whooshing up all the way. Starting line, we're going to whoosh up nice and tall all the way to the top. We're going to come back down on the same line. We're going to go up to the middle, bump and kick. And again, we're going to whoosh up nice and tall, come down to the bottom, back up to the middle, bump and little kick out. So those are B. So can you try doing two of those? Okay, well done. Now we're going to do D. And I'm going to do it on the same line. I'm going to keep my B there so you can see the difference and how we do it. So for D, we're going to again start on the line, but this time we're going to whoosh and curl. So we're going to whoosh up and curl and stop. We're going to come back round, join it together, and now we're going to go up, 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 up nice and tall down and flick one more time we're going to whoosh up and curl come back round and join it together go up nice and tall down and flick okay so can you see the difference with the back we started by going up first with the duck we curled round first so back up duck curl that's the way to kind of remember it but up duck curl Okay, and they're both tall letters, so they go up nice and tall, and they've both got a bump in the middle, 
But for a buff, the bump goes this way and the duff, the bump goes that way. We look at the word bed. This is an easy way to remember it. We go buff. Uh, duh. It kind of, I make that a bit taller, it kind of makes a bed. Look, if we look, think of this as a bed, there's the pillows and the blanket. We've got, look, if you can see, it going like that. So it's in a sort of bed shape there. So that's a good way to remember it as well. Okay, so pause the video if we need some more time, but do two but and two duh. And the last one that we're going to do now is a letter that's in one of our new diagraph sounds and it's the Q, is that a Q or part of Q? So if you watch me, we're going to start on the line, we're going to brush up and curl, we're going to come back round and join it together and then we're going to come down nice and low, down, 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 down and kick up that way and again we're going to brush up, round and curl Back round, join it together, come down, 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 and kick up. Okay? And if you wanted to, you could add the uh afterwards as well to make it the qua sound. Okay, so can you have a practice doing those? Those cues, or you can make it into a qua with the uh. And it'd be really great if you could upload this work for me to see. I remember it's beautiful handwriting, so try your best. And I look forward to seeing it. Okay, bye.